Hi guys, in this video we will see two examples reading a CSV file and loading it in, in MySQL and reading JSON file and loading its data in MySQL table we are going to use pandas, SQL alchemy, JSON and PyMySQL so let's start with the first example which is reading CSV file with this format here and we are going to use this code example as you can see here we have two ways to read CSV file uh, if our file has headers we can use this one providing the number of the header line and if we don't have headers in the file we can explicitly say what are our headers as you can see here we have three columns and these are their names then we are connecting to database with root without password and the name of the database is test and finally we are creating a table which is named CSV using this connection and we are not using indexes as we uh, let's see what I mean so this is the example as you can see it's almost the same we have some extra comments here and this is the result so here we have extra headers as you can see and the header is put put it as uh, line 0 and here we use the headers of the file and let's check our database uh, maybe you notice that here we are using replace so if you're using append you're going to append your data and if you're using replace you're going to recreate the table and append the data inside as you can see here we have the data loaded and we can delete this data and load it again and as you can see we have the date so here you have one more option which is index equal to false or true the difference is that your uh, pandas is going to generate uh, artificial column index and your uh, final insert is going to be different so as you can see here is with index equal to false and here is with equal to true so if you have a column index you can use it in order to have information for your unique key so let's move to the other example loading json file into mysql let's say that we have this json file it's a simple one and we want to read it in our database you can provide uh, absolute or relative path to your JSON file and here we are reading and parsing the file and then we are connecting to our database uh, the parameters are almost the same as in the previous example and here you can find uh, explanation about the cases I will put the link below so you can check the this article for yourself and to play with these examples here you can see some checks you can perform on your data for example for missing required fields or duplicated data or wrong types so let's move on the example uh, here you can see what comment I'm using in order to get this menu and it's Control shift and e and let's move on the example here we are reading this json file then we are connecting to the database with user root without password to this database and then we are iterating over our json object we are doing some validation and finally we are inserting the information in a table and one more note here it's uh, if you are doing validation to check if your value is known it's better to use is not known 
rather than uh, equal sign so use this one this one is uh, better and recommended and let's execute it and check the result so here we should have appended information from this uh, JSON file so that are the two examples so far you can check them here and play with them and share if you have any questions or recommendations thank you for watching and see you soon